Hi, my name is Norma. My artist name is Cara Carmina. I'm an illustrator living in Montreal since 2009. And today I've come to tell you about my pop-up experience. I've done several pop-ups, uh, mainly in my studio. I open my studio twice a year for all my clients to come and visit me. I've participated in other store pop-ups with my work for a day or two. And I do several events around Montreal area, which can be considered a pop-up too. So welcome to my studio. For me, a pop-up, it's an ephemeral event that happens in a space that is not designed for that. It could be about food, art, uh, artisanat, and it's just a, a way of showcasing the work of artists or designers for a very small period of time in a way that is fun and attracts a new crowd to see their work. It's a pop-up for me. Oh, in my career, a pop-up has been a strong part of my success because it gives me the opportunity to talk to the client which not often happens we're used to being behind the screen and I'm very good at social media I have a lot of followers but it's a different experience to talk to a client to see the smile in a child who opens my book to talk to the mom of the child who tells you that oh my child loves to read your books and I read it every night to see somebody touching the fabric of my leggings, to have somebody asking me questions about how is my process. It gives a deeper connection with your clientele and also gives you the understanding of who's gonna buy your work and who is really uh, interested in what you do. And this is the most important thing for an independent artist to understand because then you can target your sales and your approach either in social media or with the content on your work, or if you approach stores, it's really a great way of understanding who's gonna buy your work. It's super important to have the personal contact. I've done uh, several events since I'm in Montreal, and even if I don't have sales, I always get something positive out of it. And I really suggest to emerging artists to have that experience and not focus on the money, but focus on the personal experience is the most important part of it. Okay, three tips. Uh, you need to chill, don't panic, and don't take everything so serious. All these experiences are relaxed for everybody. And I know at the beginning when you haven't done any event, it's very stressing, like, what should I bring? How do I put my stand, uh, my business cards, this and this and that. But really, it's super simple if you relax and understand that people just go there to have fun and meet you. At the end of the day, it's your energy, which is going to reflect your work. So chill, please. <laughs> then another one is like prepare in advance. Don't, leave everything for the last minute because I do that <laughs> and I keep doing that but it's really exhausting. I, I think if I would be able to finish the preparations one day in advance that would be perfect. I try. And another one is, um, let me think, I'll enjoy, enjoy the pop-up. Don't focus on the money. That's really a, one of my biggest advi advices for artists. Many people get uh, confused with being an artist and becoming rich. That's not going to happen if you focus on the money. You should be an artist because you like what you do and you need to create. The money will come after, but don't go to a pop-up with the big expectation of making money. Go with the pleasure of knowing you're going to meet your clientele and show your work. And there's going to be a lot of surprises waiting for you. Uh, you should come to the pop-ups, you should meet your local artists because these are the people who are making Montreal the cultural vibrant city that it is. That's the first advice. The second is you're gonna probably find a treasure or two that you might like and cherish for a long time. Call it clothing, calling a painting, calling a piece of art. And um, my third advice would be to uh, not let down the young emerging dreamers of the city. You don't know who you are supporting with just visiting their stand. Because for us artists, it's quite important to have feedback. And sometimes we're really scared of not making it happen because being an artist is difficult. So just with coming and visiting and spending some time with each of us, you're gonna make um, a lot of good to somebody you don't know. <laughs>